Hi guys, I'm so glad you tuned in today. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Then click all so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And if you enjoy it, and I hope you do, leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you and I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. So today I'm going to share with you something a little different, a quick nail polish change. I took my nail polish off and I'm going to repaint my nails and I thought I'd share it with you all. Let's get started. I've been doing my nails for a long time. Occasionally I've gone to a professional. I'm going to put this down so that I don't make a mess. Um, but like I said, I've, occasionally I've gone to a professional to have them done. But for the most part, I do them myself. Uh, my nails used to be much longer than this, but they're not anymore. I try and keep them down to a manageable size. When I want to get some of those um, fancy designs, I'll go and have the professionals do it. But for a basic uh, mani-pedi, I usually do my own. Oh, I didn't even tell you which one is this. This is a China Glaze. Um, and I got this from Ulta. The name on this is Hydrangea. this nail this hand is shorter I think it's because uh, even though I'm left-handed my dominant hand is my right hand so my nails tend to uh, I, I tend to keep the nails shorter on this hand sometimes they're 10 perfect ones that it, it does happen but um, right now all the ones on this hand recently broke off while doing laundry and um, they'll grow back my nails have always been pretty strong. I got it from my mom. My mom and my sisters and I, we all have pretty strong hair and nails. And I usually let it dry about 15 minutes in between coats. I love this color. It says spring to me, even though I think I wear this color pretty much year round. It, but it does say spring and summer to me. I tend to gravitate more towards the um, more the lighter, the more pastels and, and neutral colors. And I'm going to let this dry for us uh, about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to go back over the the decorative nails that I'm going to do here with another coat of second skin, and then I'll do the half nail. Half of the top will be blue and I'll just add a little gray down to the bottom. So I said I was going to get myself one of those UV lights for your uh, gel polish manicures. I know they had one at Target and I said when it opens up I'm going to go over there and get me one. I've been putting it off for a long time and now of course now that I'm stuck in the house I would love to have one right about now. Very close in color. I didn't realize they will be so close in color. You can barely tell that it's there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm just going to hit, like I said, right, at, right above the nail bed. Right above where the nail and the skin. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Same thing on this one. It is so windy. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind out there, but I mean, it's really cutting up. So I'm going to let this dry for 15 minutes and then I'll move on to the next step. I'll be right back. I'm just going to blur the line of demarcation here so that it looks more seamless. And I'm going to do that by just adding a little bit of the gel polish 
to the end of this makeup sponge. And then I've got some, um, this is the Glitter Polish by LA Colors. Gorgeous. So now I am going to let this dry for about 15 minutes and then I have to come back and do my top coat. I still got a little cleanup that I'm going to have to do, but I'm going to put the top coat on first. That feels good and it looks great too. If you enjoyed it too, let me know. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice. Make sure you click that all button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the links at the end of this video to see more Home Decor by Creative Glam. So what are you waiting for? Have a blessed day. I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.